Supplying whining, winning spirits. You heard about the yeah, no recording. Yeah, I'm going up to the door and I'm stopping. Leaving the distillery. And it's the back and forth action of the rum from the wood that now gives it colors, flavors, and aromas. So the longer the rum sits in the barrels, would be the darker it gets in colors, smoother to swallow, sweeter in taste, and more expensive to buy. More expensive because looking at this transformation, it would then show you how much rums we lose within 30 years. That 30 year old barrel was four three quarter full, like the unaged. But after aging three years, it's starting to change colors. And, and well, you notice them. it's getting less. Six years a little darker, less rum. Ten years almost a half so dark. Twenty years less than half. Thirty years all the way here. So dark, so thick. So imagine the 50 year old. That is why those rums are so expensive. Somebody have to pay for the loss. Company ain't going to house. <laughs> Somewhere. But those rugs are valid for money. When you buy a bottle of 30 year old, those we sold, only sold here for 500 US dollars. Only 500 US. The 50 year old is only 5,000 US dollars. So <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> so those rugs are not the rum you invite your friends. <laughs> Who only drinks a rum and coke and then you take those bottles out? No. They are for special occasion to drink with special someone and for special reasons. Because we sign off on a minimum age law That's a that we only share the youngest age statements on the bottle. Good? So we age blend filtered bottles and then drink. We ready to drink. Very best Nope. All right. Can you show us a, like a 50 year old drum? A 50 year old here? Is no, there? there's no 50 year old in this warehouse. Okay. We have the oldest is here, I think was 46 years old on that side. Okay. I'll this take is it. a 19 year old. If you squeeze here, you're going to smell of it. Mm -hmm. you, can see it. it you can see it leaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's dripping. How many drums are in this warehouse? Present, no, squeeze the cloth and you get the smell like right here. Oh, the cloth. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Mm. That's the 90. Here we have a little under 5,000. A little bit under 5,000. Gotta pull out some February of this year. Now, folks, these nine barrels, they're representing the nine prime ministers that served Jamaica. 2012, Jamaica celebrates 50 years of independence. And that's the year we bottled those 50 year old rocks. So what we did was to call in the five prime ministers. These guys are still, are still alive, but the first four passed away. Relatives of those who passed came with those that were alive, and each member poured one of those 50-year-old bottles full of rum into one of the nine barrels of rum that was poured 2012. Now those nine barrels are going to age here until 2062. When Jamaica celebrates 100 years of independence. Folks, it is only 38 years to go. They are already gone 62 years. So another 38 years, they're ready. Okay. 
Nice. So put it in your calendars. Mm. 2062. My name. When it comes to the day, we have emptied the barrel, pulled from one barrel, and used it to top up the other day. Because the Lord could see how low that third year will went. So the Lord goes in more airspace and runs it properly. So we don't try to have them all the way here, we try to keep it three quarters of full. So we pull from one and top off the rest. You see the color but here, 50 would be about age, here. You're adding to the same age. So that one's already pulled so many times. You get it right. You do that and smell it. You can touch the cloth and get a feel and smell it. But it's just to clean the palate after it's tasting, but it was very warm. You can hydrate. And five of these small containers of flavors. Now these flavors are but don't eat the chocolate yet until I say eat chocolate. We're gonna have a set of food pairing with the 12 year old rum. Okay, Going to the awesome. rounds from left to right. First round to the left is the African State Signature Blend Rum. And this is the youngest of the premium range. It is a blend of 15 different select ages. Now it averaged four years. It is not a sipping rum. This is a mixing Next rum thing. for your Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, ginger ale, ginger beer, or whatever you like it with. I enjoyed it with Ting. Ting is a grapefruit soda. It's pretty good with it. Now to evaluate, you're gonna hold the glass by the stem to the light. Tilting the glass sideways, looking through the room at its brilliant amber gold color. And then you're gonna put the glass back to the standing position. Where the room was on the side of the glass running back, those are called the rum legs. The young rum carries thin legs that goes back quickly. Old rum, thick legs that goes slowly. These legs are moving very fast because they're young legs, they're fresh legs. Then you're gonna swirl the rum in the glass and smell it. When you swirl, you're opening the flavors and then inhale. I want you to inhale deep enough that it open up your sinuses. It should burn your nostrils. <laughs> You're now smelling hints of molasses, a little hint of orange peel, and it carries great hint of citrus. Didn't carry any coffee, any cocoa, any vanilla, because it didn't age long enough. Go ahead and take your drink and see if you taste any of what you smell. One drink should finish it. It's not much. Here we don't waste anything. So there shouldn't be any rum in your glass when you're through. All those glasses. Glasses and orange peel. She's like, what? <laughs> those glasses should be all empty. Molasses is number one for sure. There you go. Real rich molasses in it. In the age long enough. All right, once you're into pallets, we're going to the next one. The Avatar Estate eight year, old, eight year Old Reserve. This is our second youngest premium. And this rum is an elevated cocktail. And the bottle carries the number eight, which now signifies the youngest age in the blend sat in the barrels for minimum eight years. This rum is not a sipper, but you can play with it sipping it. I enjoy it. It's very nice to have it fruit juice, tonic water, coconut water, or ice, but no Coca-Cola and no Pepsi. It's like a brewing the good rum. How I enjoy it, I always freeze the 
coconut water into my ice trays and then I'll put those frozen coconut water ice cubes. So you freeze the coconut water into the ice tray and put the frozen coconut water ice cube in your eight year old. You don't need no mixers, no ice. It is so refreshing. Sometimes I drink too much. Now we evaluate. Rums are a little darker in colors, as you notice. And when you tilt to see the legs, these legs are not even moving for a minute. I don't see the way any they're legs. fixed, they're going <laughs> so slow. And when you swirl and smell, instead of burning your nostrils, this one smells so flavorful. But now so you're sure. pulling more aromas from this rum. This is now 43% alcohol, while the signature blend is only 40%. So even though this one is stronger, it is smoother because it ages longer. Go ahead and take a drink and see how much smoother this is. It is sweeter, it is smoother, it's more flavorful. Very good with some frozen coconut water ice cubes. Raise your palates, go into the other one. Our 12 year old work pass. This is our first sipping rum. Now, this rum, you will graduate from doing all different types of mixings. You're going to have it neat, on the rocks, or with a splash of water. I like it neat, and I will tell you why. Now to evaluate, I want you to look where the raw meat on the surface of the glass, there is an olive green ring that goes around the edge of the raw. Circling the edge is an olive green ring. And that is called the green ring of aging. The younger the raw ages, the lighter the green, the older rum carries a brighter green. And when you tilt to see the legs, these legs are not even moving for a minute. The way those legs are thick, they are moving so slow. And when you swirl and smell, this one carries so much richer aromas. Hint of coffee, hint of cocoa, and a hint of vanilla. <laughs> No, I, I like this rum meat because when you put ice in your old age rums and swirl, the ice bruised the legs of the rum. And I hate to damage my rum legs. Water will thin in the legs and I like it thick, soft, warm and smooth. So no ice, no water. I keep my glass in the palms of my hand while I'm drinking, so my body temperature will always keep my rum legs warm. Now when I drink, those legs should be going thick, soft, warm, and smooth. No ice, no water. These are what we should enjoy out in the moonlight with our spouse where we could be occupying both palms. One palm keeping the rum legs warm, while the other palm keeping the hand <laughs> warm. Take a small taste of the gel, polish the palates, and then you're gonna chew the chocolate, swallowing rum and chocolate together. So one it taste first. Polish the palates. And then two chocolates. Yeah, but it makes it fun. It makes it more fun. Exactly. I was so happy when I hear him start it because you know I hate to start without someone like you. Oh God! If you don't have fun, you don't have it. You know. Exactly. Oh, this is what this is what we got today. Private so what?
understand what those candle prices are for that single wick. 